Aren't you bored of having your smart gun perform like a water gun? Let's see how we can make this iconic beast perform even in its current state. Greetings Marines, Fire here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you a couple of tricks to make the smart gun a viable heavy. For purposes of this build I will be explaining some things over segments of cut gameplay and I'm gonna do my best to keep it short and sweet. Let's get to the basics of what we should be striving for. One thing that's very important to understand is that the gun has inherently low damage so we have to make the best to make it as usable as possible by modding it correctly. Tanker muzzle as you can see here, Miller twist rifling and deep railed armature are the go-to perks for maximum crowd control even when the gun underperforms on the damage department. So how do we go from just utility to having it also deal some damage? Take a look at the slowed footage here. I start dealing normal damage to the body and then I'm hitting crit after crit after crit although the gun's auto targeting mechanism is always engaged and cannot be turned off. There is a trip to this thing and it is related to the old saying that it's all in the wrist. What you have to do is tilt your stick, your aiming stick or your mouse slightly upwards after you have acquired the target. Of course the amount of precision you can expect varies and it has mostly to do with what you are fighting since as you can see here are pretty easy targets as are the runners, bursters prowlers and so on and so forth. Do not expect to hit a Praetorian's chest weak point as easily and in order to be able to lay down on a crusher you have to be directly behind them having your muzzle up their anus, literally. So with a bit of practice you will be able to stun with a tanker muzzle, slow with a miller twist and damage to an extent that's much improved over the automatic target acquisition of the gun. Suffice it to say guys, the smart gun needs a patch, a buff real bad and the heavies in general really don't perform as well as someone would expect. We've discussed that in length throughout many of my vids but I was getting the vibe recently that many people are shedding on the game and there is a negativity surrounding its current state so I thought I'd make the best out of what's available right now instead of just focusing on all the negativity. So this is pretty much it. My quick guide on how to make the smart car a more viable heavy weapon. Of course it will take a bit of practice to optimize this technique but at least there's something to strive for, there is more depth to its usage than meets the eye at first glance and if it receives a damage buff it will make the gun a force to be reckoned with, a much more usable tool that it currently is. Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, consider checking out Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, also Patreon if you feel like helping these vids come to life. I appreciate your patronage and support very very much, love you all, until next time be well, stay frosty and always strive perfection. Cheers!